Hello guys and welcome back to our Star Wars figure review. And for today's Star Wars figure review, we're going to take a look at a very old figure. Uh, super old, but it's a 30th anniversary collection figure. Figure that I have reviewed in the past. But that was one of my first videos, I do believe. So today, we are going to take another look at the awesomeness that is Battle Damaged Darth Vader from The Force Unleashed. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm a big the Force Unleashed fan. Both games are fantastic. I have both uh, stories in trade paperback form. Uh, I do have the novel of the first one, I do believe. So I'm definitely a big, big fan of this one. Uh, this is basically at the end of the game where um, you, as an apprentice, strike down Vader. And you can choose like what ending do you want. You want to defeat Vader or you want to defeat the Emperor. So the good or the bad side ending. Um, and this is basically a nice representation of that moment or for Darth Vader that is that is an awesome awesome figure now I do have the package to show you guys but I do not have the regular packaging I do have an extra guarded version of this figure simply because um, it was one of my favorite figures still is one of my favorite figures of all time that I ever did and the packaging for this one it just looks fantastic as you can see got the 13th anniversary logo and card back but this image here says it all absolutely love that image um looks so badass bad lamb shark feeder beautiful card back and then you got the figure inside and then you got the exclusive sheet code for star wars the force unleashed on the back <coughs> Another image here, it's the same image. Got a little description and you got other figures in the wave. This is basically the Force Unleashed kind of wave. I do have all of them. I'm missing uh, the Force Unleashed Rancor. And then I have everything ever released from the Force Unleashed in action figure form, that is. So that's one of the last things that I'm definitely looking for. Uh, there's a small description on the back, so I'll read that for you guys. A fierce battle with the uh, newfound Rebel Alliance aboard the Death Star has pushed Darth Vader to the brink of defeat. Beaten and broken, the Dark Lord of the Sith is the closest he's come to death since Obi-Wan Kenobi defeats him on the burning shores of Mustafar. That's basically the description. Absolutely love that. Back then, you get a nice description. Nowadays, what do you get? Like, a very tiny line in five different languages. So, yeah, definitely like this uh, much more than the newer style packaging. Um, but anyways, that's it for packaging. I'm gonna come back to this because um, this figure here is my display figure and um, it's like pushed in this kind of pose to, you know, get it on the shelf because it's basically on my expanded universe shelf and that fits about 130 figures on one shelf. Uh, very hard to put them all on that shelf. But here we go. Gonna give you guys a nice look here at the face sculpt see that absolutely loved it um, there is some accessories on this one but I don't have them all on the figure because I want him in this real battle damage look now one of the accessories is the helmet you can put on him I will show that in the back in just a second so you have that beautiful looking head sculpt that looks like um, Sebastian Shaw's head sculpt so I do like that on the back here as well Gonna take him out of the stand though because otherwise it would not be easy. <coughs> Let's go. You guys can see that. Gliding to right, but some nice detail for sure. Um taking a look here at the arm and the side here. So really nice here in terms of detail. You can see the robotic arm. And the hand, everything just comes off of this armor. Also, this armor piece in the middle, there is a piece that you can take off to reveal the battle damage look. We'll show that in packaging as well because this is a part that I have left on. So, you have that. There is also here, there is, should be an accessory on the arm to put over that. So, it's like a glove kind of thing. So, we do have that. Other than that, really cool looking sculpt work on this sculpt is fantastic and then if you take a look at the legs absolutely love that the fact that one leg is robotic and the one is in the boot man look at the detail it's such an amazing figure so absolutely love it um also cape you can see there are holes in the cape don't see that nowadays 
this kind this amount of detailing and uh, so yeah this is a fantastic figure uh that's just detail i'm just gonna show you some things you just can't see on the figure um or accessories that are left off but first of all you got the helmet here so that's the helmet you can put on and then you got underneath the helmet is the armor piece that is the piece that is um on the figure on mine figure you guys can see underneath that armor piece is really really cool kind of uh you can see the body of Darth Vader or Anakin Skywalker that is and then also this is the non-robotic arm so this is basically um the part that is removal on the arm is attached here in the packaging so actually what I did is like the things you can't you can't see in the packaging I put um off the figure the arm parts that are attached on this one are not on my figure on my loose figure and then the parts that are on my loose figure are not on this one so it's basically like a mix and match thing but in that way I can display both of them and sh show both like different looks so it's one of the things that I did so and I absolutely love it I love the fact that I have a carded version it's one of my favorite figures so uh, so yeah do you have that just taking a look a quick look here you guys can see that well or not well, it comes with the lights here and so but yeah awesome awesome figure and just love the fact again both versions so absolutely loving that uh, so yeah uh, articulation wise again very good it does have a swivel head the ball joint in the elbows I believe has a swivel in the wrist and also a joint to move up and down you get um, oh in the elbows yes then you get um, some wrist articulation swivels I believe in the in the gloves there is a swivel torso there is a swivel in the hips you can move forward and back there's a joint in the knee and there is a joint in the ankle so it does allow for some great articulation and great movement but yeah overall that's my small little review on the Star Wars Battle Damage Darth Vader figure. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this review and we'll be back with some more reviews very soon. So until then, keep collecting and may the force be with you. Bye.